Hello everybody in this new tutorial of Xamarin Forms and Signal Air SDK to make a chat application. So today I'll show you how to get the list of friends and how to send a private um, message to a friend and finally how to save it in the database. So let's begin by changing uh, the main page um, to a, a login page. So that's why we need to put an email and a password so we continue in the last project you can get it from the repository on github so here on the xaml page we need to duplicate the email entry and change the binding to the password and change the placeholder to password Finally, let's enable his password property to true and change the command binding to sign in command. Change the text to sign in and that's all for this page. After that, we need to add some uh, services like authentication service and uh, session service. So let's begin by the authentication service. Let's create a new class and its interface. So the authentication service is um, a service for making login uh, and refresh the token uh the security token so the communication between the client it's our xamarin forms application and the web api which is a dotnet core uh, project the communication will be secured by gwt token so i will not explain the details here because you can see my videos on um, .NET gwt authentication tokens and how to make the tokens etc so you can see my videos so here we need to uh, create a base service so the base service will present the http client uh, operations like the get the post the put so we're gonna make a generic code uh, so you can download it from uh, the github so i will not explain this because it's a details and it's a generic code you can uh, find it on uh, internet so before that we need to create some models here that will represent our user and the token uh, for the secured, secured communication and the login model for um, making uh, the login operation so we need the email and the password and here in um, the base view model we're gonna create the creation date and the modification date so in the user model we need some properties like um, the name the email the password the conversation between uh, friends, um, the list of friends and others properties like the refresh token, the token and the expire token. Cool. So let's create the other models, the conversation model, and we'll represent the discussion between um, two friends, two users. After that, we need to create uh, the session service. So the session service will present uh, a cache of application in which we can store um, information like the user property, the, the refresh token, the security token. Um, we have two type of cache, so a secured storage or preference. So the secured storage is encrypted uh, cache. So the other application cannot um, decrypt the content. So here we need to import the different namespaces of model and the interface here. So we're gonna not explain the different uh, method. It's a generic code. You can only use it, and if you have a time, you can take a look and see the details. 
So the interface here will expose different methods, and it will be the get connected user, the get token, uh, refresh token, uh, set connected user, set token, etc. So all this code is commented, and you can see uh, alone the details of these methods. Great. So let's navigate to the iSession service and put the different uh, signature of method here and import different namespaces of models and threading tasks. Cool. And eventually it's interface. We change the type to interface. Very, very nice. So. The last thing, don't forget to change your base address in the base service to the web API um, URL. Finally, I think we don't need to get the connection uh, list here because it's something uh, managed by the signal in the backend. So let's keep it for the backend. Now, in the authentication service, we need to define uh, some properties, some uh, methods here, like the login, uh, the refresh token, the logout. So simply this login method will call um, by the HTTP client that we have already defined in the base service, um, the web API, especially the user controller and the login action and we uh, give it uh, the login uh, DTU or the login model uh, data. Now, in the main view model, we need to define the sign in method. So before that, we need to inject the I authentication service. And in the sign in, we need to call um, the authentication service dot login. And I think we need to add async method. And I think that I didn't define the signature of methods in the interface in the interface here so we need to import the signature here that's great and the logout and finally the refresh token cool now we need to change here the login by the email and i think it's good so the first thing after um, calling the login operation, we need to um, to verify uh, if the user different from null. So if the user different from null, we are gonna add um, this uh, user uh, object in uh, the session uh, services in, in the cache of application. So here we need to define the session and the base uh, view model and it cannot be used in every view model in the application. So that's why we need to change the signature of const base constructor. Cool. So now if the user is different from null, we need to call the session service dot set user and we give it the results the response is a user model other things will be um, useful here is to set the token model and the token model will represent the security token um, to access web api every time we um, we call the web api uh, server and every time we call it we put this token in the header of um, the request and the, the server, the web API server will check if this token is valid in order to avoid sending uh, login and password every time we need a connection between the client and um, uh, server. And finally, if, uh, if we have the user uh, object, we need to define 
the connected user, the set, the token, and finally we navigate to um, the friend page. Represent the list of friends. As you can show login error, for example, uh, the login password is not correct. Now, in the friends page view model, we need to um, define the constructor, uh, obviously, and we're going to use um, the iSession uh, service in the constructor and put it in the base constructor. So, here, let's run the application and see uh, the result. So, we need to make... Um, a login operation. So here I use Samsung Dex. It's an application you can download for free on Samsung um, developer uh, site web in order to connect on your real device. Great. So here in the app.zaml.cs, I forgot to put uh, all my created services in order to um, instantiate uh, the view model. So here, don't forget to put your different services in the container in order to um, manage the dependency injection here. And I think we have spelling mistakes here for the password. It will be PWD. Great. Let's launch the application and see the result. So um, the database I already um, put an information uh, in the database so you can instantiate the backend and um, create your uh, database and put your uh, users and the relationship between friends so every friend every two user have a friendship so you need to define uh, a row in a friend table so here we have different information of user we're gonna set it on the application cache so now we're gonna define the friends page here so let's give it a title for example my friends here and inside it we're gonna define um, a collection view that will be uh, binded to a friend list so every time we're gonna log in to the application so we navigate to my friends um, page like facebook and by default we're gonna request the web api to get all my friends and here in the um, view model here we need to create um, a bindable property uh, called friend list and this friend list will be initialized in um, initialize method that will be override here. So we're gonna call um, we're gonna create first of all um, a user service here. So the user service um, inside it we will put um, get my friends for example method and it will it extends the bay the AI user service and implements um, sorry it's implements the interface and extend the base view model so it will define the signature of this method for example get user friends and we give the user id which means i give you the current user connected and you give me the web api will give me the list of this uh, user the list of friends of this user great so um so here we're gonna call the web api we return a get type of a number ball of user model it's a list of friends and we're gonna call the user controller and maybe the action will be um, get user friends. And we put also the user ID. And don't forget to put the dollar um, character here. And I think we need to put async task here because it's um, an async. Um, method so let's change the name to get user friend async that's cool and don't forget to put it in the container here 
to declare the service in the container here. Cool. And obviously, we're gonna use this service in the friends page view model. And in the initialize method, we need to call friends list equal to user service dot get user friend async and don't forget to wait and the async in the initialize method cool so now we need to get the connected user so we're gonna um, search it in the cache of application so that's why we use the session uh, service and here we need to change the signature and add the task because it's an async um, method. Cool. And the base model, so I forgot to put uh, the ID. It's a common property for all your models. So let's run and see. Normally, we're going to get um, the list of friends. Sign in. So here we have breakpoint. Here we navigate to the my friends page and it's cool. So here we have the list of friends. So let's make some styles here in the list. So we're going to add a box view in order to make separation between items. That's cool. And we can use also um, an image for friends. So in our case, and for a demo uh, purpose, we're gonna use uh, the same image, and it will be a static image from the internet. We're gonna search the source, uh, the URL from the internet. So here you have something like this. We can change and make the style you, as you know. So enjoy to make your own style here. So let's make something like Facebook. And maybe here we're gonna uh, add a vertical option to center. Great. So now let's add the, the management of um, when the user uh, tap on the item. So we're gonna use a recognize a gesture recognizer and we will bind the command to go to private the discussion command and uh, the number of taps it will equal to one and the binding parameter uh, will be the current uh, selected uh, or tapped friend so in the view model here we need to define this go to private discussion so it will be an async method and we navigate to um, the private uh, page of discussion. So before that, let's check something in the chat service here. And we need to ensure that we have two types of communication, private or not. So we're going to use the same send message and receive message. We will add a new parameter here is a private and by default is equal to false. OK. And in the service, uh, we're gonna uh, make an if private, so we're gonna call, we're gonna invoke the send a private message, and in the same way, receive private message, else it will be the public message and the public receive message. So now we're gonna create a new page called private chat page, and add the constructor here and we're gonna create the same thing like the chat room with a little difference here like um, I think we're gonna use the user um, user model like friend property okay so when I navigate to the private chat uh, page we need the friend object. It will be a user model. And in the initialize here, we're going to get this user friend from the navigation parameter. So 
when we tap on the list of friends, when we tap on friend on the list in friends page, we're gonna send in the navigation parameters the friend object. So that's why we're gonna use the serialize and this uh, string of friend object. And eventually we're gonna use the same thing like the chat room page. So initialize the receive message. Don't forget to put it to private to true and chat service dot connect. Cool. After that, we're gonna um, we're gonna add the different uh, method like the chat room. So add uh, message and I think uh, send message. Cool. So you don't forget to change this username to friend dot email. So we're gonna need the email because we need to identify uh, the user, the friend user. And here's the same thing. We're gonna use friend dot uh, name in order to uh, show the name and the interface of um, discussions here. So in the back end here, so I already prepared the code. We're gonna use it. I have uh, three uh, concern here or two concern: the business layer and the data access layer. So I prepared the generic repository and the managers here. So you're gonna copy the code from the Git repository. So let's define the send private message, and inside it we need to um, to get a friend user, uh, and we will use the user manager dot get user by email. And for this friend, we need to check if he is uh, connected. So that's why we'll, um, we'll uh, create a query connection dot where is connected. And for each connection, it can be connected on a smartphone and desktop at the same time. So we need to send the same message at the same time to these two devices. And finally, we're gonna uh, insert this message in the database here. So it's the most important thing here, how to save this discussion in the database. So to save discussion in the database, we're gonna use um, something called uh, conversation manager and we're gonna need to check if this conversation is different from Newell. So it's the first time we're gonna communicate with this friend. So we need to create a new conversation and between these two users and uh, save the message and replay tables. Else, we're gonna, we have already a conversation between these two users. So we need only to save the message in the table of replace. So the last thing is to create um, the unconnection and the undisconnect uh, from uh, the, the hub. And in this unconnect, we're gonna insert the connection. We're gonna track the connection of the user is connected or not and from any device here. So in the web, in the, in the mobile application here, in the Xamarin Forms application, we're gonna just check in the chat service that we have the right um, uh, methods on uh, the service. Cool. So let's run and see. Here we have the emulator and my real device here. Okay. Let's run the application in the two and the emulator and the real device here. Cool. And let's connect by two different users so let's put the login password here for the first user And on the next side, the other side, we need to put the friend user here.
let's sign in and here we have the different friends of each user so the second user have many friends and the first user have only one friend so let's begin the communication here so as the last video here a signal a signal error it's worked correctly so we can see in real time the messages and we're gonna check the database here so we're gonna find one conversation between two users and we're gonna check the conversation replays here so we have all our message so we, if we write something here we're gonna get it in the database that's cool so i think that's all for today see you on the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe